I've been seeing a lot of this going around on Twitter lately, people kind of flexing the most rare emblems they have on their D2 account. Emblems are kind of a weird world, some people don't care about them at all and other people really go gaga for these things. After seeing people flex their emblem collection, I started to wonder what the most rare ones were, so today we're going to go over the 20 rarest emblems in all of D2 and how exactly they're obtained. Quick FYI before I get um actually down in the comment section, I'm leaving out some rare emblems for today's list because we simply don't know anything about them at all. Echo Diamond, Those Held Dear, A Dream Shared, Music of Memory, these are all examples of emblems owned by very few accounts in the API, but there is literally no known data on how to obtain them. Therefore, I'm excluding them until we learn where the hell they come from. But real quick, today's video is brought to you by Factor, so let's thank them real quick. Do you sometimes find you don't have a ton of time to cook, but you want to make sure you're still eating well? Never fear, Factor is here. Skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the extra work in the kitchen while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy. I'm often busy with content and I still routinely order Factor for both me and Anno each week. Next week, I'm trying the new smoky shrimp and tomato penne dish, noise. Nice. Don't get me wrong, I still love to cook, but I like the fact that two nights out of the week, neither of us have to do any cooking at all. We just heat the meals, eat them and relax together with no prep work and barely any cleanup. If you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch, Factor's got lunch to go. No effort, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat whenever. No heating up required. Factor also offers gourmet plus meals as part of your weekly options, which means you can get a little gourmet with your meal plan whenever you're craving something special. Head on over to factor75.com or click the link in the pinned comment and use code FALLOUT50 to get a whopping 50% off your first Factor box. Good deal right there. Again, that's 50% off with code FALLOUT50. Thank you, Factor. All right, back to the most rare and Emblems. Coming in at number 20, Hallowed Coronation. Might be a tad early to celebrate Halloween, unless of course you're all about spooky stuff. In which case, you do you, boo. Oh, brother! <clears throat> the Hallowed Coronation emblem was awarded to accounts that had their creative projects, whether that be artwork, fashion, or whatever, shared by the official Bungie accounts during Festival of the Lost in 2022. Only 129 accounts actually own this emblem, so if you see someone out in the wild rocking it, just know that there's probably a 9 out of 10 shot that they're really into Tim Burton. At number 19, Aspect of Luminance. This emblem was awarded to any artist that had artwork of any kind retweeted by the official Bungie Twitter account, or a uh, X Zitter Zeter account, whatever the f Emerald Mine guy is pointlessly rebranding it to. Artists who had their work featured in the TWAB during year three would also receive this emblem, but unfortunately it's been retired in favor of Outside the Lines, making the aspect of Luminance limited and pretty rare. At number 18, we have another artist related emblem, the Artist in Residence. As jealous as I am that Bungie gives a ton of emblems to artists, a lot of people in the community are wildly talented, so it does make sense. Artist in Residence was given to players that had their artwork featured in the TWAB in year year three of Destiny 2 and it can no longer be obtained. Random fact, the name of the emblem relates to a real practice where museums or organizations will hire artists to produce artwork for them over the course of a certain period of time. At number 17, Pret a Porter, a name I'm 100% positive I did not just horribly butcher. The I'm not repeating it emblem was given to accounts that won a Destiny fashion contest in 2022. The name translates to ready to wear, a phrase in the fashion industry referring to clothing that is produced at standard sizes and not made to fit a particular person. So this might be Bungie's way of saying good fashion comes from different places, so wear whatever makes you happy. Except if you wear Kepri's horn, of course. At number 16, we have Core of the Nova, a very warm looking emblem with a high bar to hit. Core of the Nova is given to any guardian who has raised a lifetime total of $10,000 for the Bungie Foundation. Quick reminder to anyone that may start griping or complaining about pay to earn or or donate to earn emblems or anything like that. The Bungie Foundation is a non-profit charity organization which supports children's health and well-being, humanitarian aid, diversity, and equity efforts. Only 62 active Destiny accounts out there own Core of the Nova. At number 15, we have an odd one, the Consensus. This one took me down a rabbit hole of research and confusion and France. Sacre bleu. Apparently, the Consensus emblem was part of a rare promotion in
in France, along with a company called Micromania. Similar to the Forsaken Refer a Friend promotion, which landed you the Murmuration Ship and Double Rainbow Sparrow, the consensus promotion required two people to buy a physical copy of D2 in French stores together, then enter in codes to unlock this exclusive emblem. It is not really known whether there are still unused codes out there for this emblem, but hey, could always go take a trip to France to find out. Numbers 14, 13, 12, 11, and 9, I'm grouping all together because they all fall under the same umbrella. Don't worry, I will come back and get to number 10 shortly. Those emblems are the Filament Blossom, the Hidden Edge, Nyctophobia, Symposium Shield, and Vigilant Console. These rare emblems were given out to people that Bungie wanted to thank for their services moderating the Bungie.net forums. As a content creator and streamer, take it from me, moderating any gaming community is a Herculean effort. It is also a task that is not only done by kind-hearted volunteers, but it very often goes heavily undernoticed and appreciated. I'm gonna be real, I would rather plunge a grapefruit spoon into my eye than to even try for one week to moderate the goddamn Bungie.net forums, so I think these are very well likely earned. Filament Blossom is owned by 48 D2 accounts, Hidden Edge by 43, Symposium Shield by 42, Vigilant Console by 37, and Nyctophobia by 32. Also, apparently, there are different kind of badges that moderators and mentors can wear in the Bungie.net forums, which I was not aware of. Coming back around to cover number 10, which again, I skipped over, 24 FPS, an emblem whose design I very much like and am extremely jealous of. The 24 FPS emblem is only owned by 36 D2 players today, and unlike many options we've covered today, it's actually still obtainable. In order to get the 24 FPS emblem, you simply have to win a Movie of the Week award from Bungie in Season 20. 22, AKA the current season that we're in. So get those creative juices flowing. You've got until I think November-ish to make something entertaining and get that emblem. And hey, apparently one of my buddies, the fusion boy Lego has this emblem. Good for you, buddy. At number eight, we have Prost. And at the risk of starting a riot in the community, I see, we tip something over. This emblem can apparently only be obtained from giveaways from Destiny content creators. Awkward. I've heard a lot of people say that they're not a fan of when Bungie does this, and for the record, I get where they're coming from, and I say that as a content creator. Hopefully people don't get too fired up about this though, because at the end of the day, it's just art. By the way, the picture of the emblem reminded me of a pretzel, so I looked up the word Prost, and apparently this word is used as a toast in Germany, basically the equivalent of saying cheers before kicking back some booze, which is awesome. Only 22 players in the community can celebrate owning this emblem before drinking beer out of a gigantic stein. At number seven and number four, I know, jumping around a little bit, are Media Steinum and, oh God, I'm gonna butcher it, Venai Cave. These emblems are very rare, as like a few other entries on today's list, they are related to the lifetime fundraising reward program that Bungie announced in 2023. Both are named after terms relating to the heart. Venai Cave refers to the two large veins that carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart, and Media Steinum is the medical term for the part of the thoracic cavity in the chest that holds the heart. The Mediastinum emblem is given to guardians who have raised a lifetime total of $25,000 for charity and is owned by only 20 people. Meanwhile, the Vinai Cave emblem is given to guardians who have raised a lifetime total of $50,000 for the Bungie Foundation and is only held by five people total. At number six, we have Wish Ascended, which was only ever given to 12 D2 players, one of which has since been banned from the game, to put it bluntly. So in reality, only 11 players are able to log in and show off the emblem if they wish. Wish Ascended is the ultra rare emblem only given out to any player slash fire team to complete the last Wish raid in the first 24 hours of the raid going live. If you've only started playing D2 recently, let me tell you, current contest mode raids are way way different than what we had in early D2. No contest mode, no, oh, it's okay if your power level ain't that high, we just made the enemies more challenging. Nope, none of that. In order to stand even a remote chance in day one last wish, you had to power level grind nonstop in the days leading up to the raid. Only the most diehard players who were able to power level round the clock stood a chance, and even then, it was hard, like legendarily hard, as only two raid teams managed to complete 
complete it within the first 24 hours. Aside from the immense prestige of achieving such a difficult accomplishment, they also get this sweet, sweet emblem to rock for the rest of their lives. Pour one out for the homie Dado in the comment section, hashtag 2402. At number five, we have Belle Epoque, which is super rare at the moment, but will likely continue to climb as we get deeper into Season of the Witch. Reason being, it is the current reward for winning an Artist of the Week in the weekly twid. Put your beret back on, because we're going back to France, apparently. Belle Epoque apparently means beautiful age and was a name given to a time period in France from around 1871 to 1914. This period was one of optimism, peace, economic prosperity, and a time where the artistic climate in France grew and flourished. This led to many masterpieces of literature, music, theater, and art. Damn, I didn't think I was going to learn so much today. As with the 24 FPS emblem, you can still earn Belle Epoque between now and the end of season 22, so go get to drawing. We covered number four already, so moving on to number three, we have Humanity's Chosen. This is a very mysterious emblem with no clear defining parameters other than just be a good and helpful person. One can only assume that the Humanities Chosen emblem was created by Bungie in an attempt to just say thank you to those who are just chill people and do what they can to be a positive force in the overall gaming community. A nice gesture for sure, but to be completely honest, the only real reason I think the creation of this emblem might have been a bad idea is that for a long while after the announcement of this emblem, anytime there was some kind of an argument or disagreement on Reddit, or Twitter or wherever, and someone came in with a chill, rational take, they would get predictably flooded with an avalanche of replies, all to the tune of, Bungie's not gonna give you the emblem, bro. Basically, assuming that the only reason anyone would ever not be an asshole is because they're secretly working an angle for an in-game emblem. In either case, apparently only three accounts worldwide have the humanity's chosen emblem. At number two, we have the Cordula emblem, which is owned by a whopping two people. According to Bungie.net, Cordula is derived from the Latin word core, meaning little heart. That makes sense because the art kind of reminds me of a blood drop with the shape and the color and all of that. The emblem can be earned if you raise, not donate, but raise a lifetime total of at least $100,000 during a Bungie Foundation fundraiser. That is some incredible dedication right there. Hats off to the owners of those emblems and their very generous communities. Finally, at number one, we have a very touching entry, the Fly Together emblem, which has only ever been redeemed by one unknown guardian. According to Emblem Report, the Fly Together emblem was granted to a sole Make-A-Wish guardian. To those unaware, the Make-A-Wish Foundation is a nonprofit organization in the US that helps fulfill the wishes of children with a critical illness, an extremely admirable organization helping to bring joy and granting wishes to kids during their most challenging times. Even though almost every other emblem on Emblem Report can show you exactly which accounts own which emblems, the recipient of the Fly Together emblem is a secret. And to be completely honest, I think I prefer it that way. If you've either witnessed any of these rare emblems in the game, or you're one of the owners of these rare emblems, let me know down in the comment section. And if you've got a story to share about one of these emblems, feel free to share. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on stream.